We're making the uh, President's Cottage here at the Grove Park Inn. And you can start out with the gingerbread and you roll it out. Anything that's standing up or it's gonna hold any type of structural weight, you wanna bake it and make sure it's nice and hard. Just take cardboard and cut out templates, put it on top of the gingerbread, roll it out, cut it with the X-Acto knife and put it right on a sheet pan and bake it in the oven at 350. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna microplane all the edges of all the gingerbread that we baked off yesterday. We're gonna get them nice and straight so when we glue our gingerbread house together, it's going to be even on the sides, tops, all around. You could do all kinds of windows. A lot of people have used the gelatin sheets that you can put in the window. You just cut it out and put a little uh, royal icing to stick it. And what we're gonna do is fill the bag with royal icing. And some of the royal icing that could be made um, thinner, thicker, it depends on, I mean, what you, decoration might be a little thinner than putting the house together. You want it nice and thick when you put it on the edges and stick it together. Royal icing is egg whites and powdered sugar. And also make sure you, when you do your powdered sugar, you sift it like three or four times. Get all the little lumps out. Um, and just mix it with a um, KitchenAid with a paddle, mixing bowl. Pipe a little of the icing. We're gonna stick it right there. Put the other side, the same way. When we glue the roof, make sure you have a little bit more icing and just hold it for a little bit. Let it probably set overnight and then do the decorations in the following day. Decoration wise, you can use your imagination. Make the gingerbread nice and soft. You can make small little stones and you can make different shapes. What I do is just bake it at a low temperature and dry it out. It's really fun doing the roof part. You can do anything on the roof, cereal, crackers, fondant. Fondant is another sugar icing. Usually what we do is put it in the microwave to just like loosen it up and then you can roll it out and you can mold it into anything. It's edible. It's just like working with gingerbread dough or any other dough. When you're draping anything, the thinner the better. And Chef Ian's marking it just like he did the roof. You can airbrush afterwards. It's really almost anything that you want to do with this. The chimney stone, we just stacked the sugar stone with raw icing. Chef Ian came in with his air compressor and spray gun and sprayed it, and then we touched it up with a little bit of white powder to give it that rustic look. And we covered the board with royal icing so it looks like snow. If you're ever doing anything with icicles, it's, it's very easy. I mean, the, the key is to use a small tip. What you want to do is just put a little bit and drag it down. If you want to hide the edge of your roof, you can break little pieces of candy out and put along. There's many techniques that you can do with the, the doors. I mean, um, you can have doors with windows in it. What you want to do is probably have to play a little, little bit with a knife or a razor to make sure the door fits. We did just dipped it in chocolate to give it that dark, dark color. If someone wants to make something like, uh, like a gingerbread house or um, a church or anything, um, it's going to take it's going to take several, several days, weeks maybe. You know, it's a lot of time at the candy store, looking at all the candy, um, the decoration. So the best thing to do is just have a picture and this is what I want to do and keep it all in perspective. Is baking a craft, is cooking a craft? Yes, it is a very difficult um, um, and strenuous and long hours and it is a lot of uh, work. It's, it's a tough job. Um, but it's, it's fun, it's fun.